What are some utensils that you use for eating every day? Knife and fork, spoon, chopsticks. Personally, I use chopsticks a lot since I find chopsticks are very handy for picking up things. Chopsticks are a utensil invented in ancient China that is also used across the world right now. But have you ever wondered why chopsticks are so handy? There are actually a lot of interesting physics concepts behind the design. Chopsticks is a lever system. Lever is a machine made of a rigid beam rotated around the pivot point, which is also called a fulcrum. And we use the term torque to measure how much force acting on an object causes the object to rotate around the fulcrum. This is how we define the torque, where r is the distance from the force to the fulcrum. Now, let's see how to use chopsticks to pick up something. What do you notice? Your thumb acts as the fulcrum. The index finger and the middle finger together control and apply the force up or down. F1 is the force applied, and F2 is the resistant force. In the level system, the mechanical advantage is F1 over F2 equals to D2 over D1. This ratio shows that the shorter distance from the force to fulcrum, the more force you need to apply. We can see that D2 is greater than D1, so F1 is greater than F2. Using chopsticks actually requires more force. It may be hard for you to imagine why chopsticks require more force, since from your experience, you may realize chopsticks is a very convenient tool for eating. However, the design of chopsticks is reasonable because we want to control the long chopsticks picking up something by only move your fingers a little bit. In this case, we require a machine with a shorter distance from the force to fulcrum, which results in a larger force applied. Hope you enjoy. Probably try to experience the level by yourself next time when you are eating with chopsticks.